for me, and I suspect for most San Franciscans, men and women, this is the lifeblood to how we can display ourselves in the most appropriate attire. Wilkes Bashford's operation is unique. They really know how to fit you if you will tell them exactly what you are attempting to do. Because you're gonna dress someone differently for business as you would for a party, which was really the original reason the store was founded, so that men could have the diversity in their wardrobes that women have always had. And if you walk out of your house, and when you hit the streets, and somebody doesn't say, man, you look okay today, go back upstairs and change. He's brought great fashion here, uh, but also I'm not sure that everybody knows all the things that he's given to San Francisco. Well, Wilkes is out probably five nights a week in the community. So, uh, you know, when we talk about our family having, you know, values of getting out and being in the community, he does it like times 10. Where he gets his energy from, I have no idea. He's working six days a week. And he really is Mr. San Francisco in so many ways. And the thing that cannot be measured is his enthusiasm. His enthusiasm is uh, something that inspires everybody, uh, gives them hope to do whatever they can do to help whatever the cause is. So uh, all of those things are part of Wilkes Bashford, not just what he brings as a store here. He brings himself to San Francisco uh, and gives us so very much. Given this San Francisco store, this big renovation, um, you know, modeled after a townhouse, we're literally creating a home environment uh, where hospitality should just become natural. I look forward to meeting and greeting every single customer, offering them a drink, welcoming them to our home. Uh, P.S. We have the best product in the world, but we really want to create this intimate, you know, personal space where we can take relationships to the next level, where hopefully everybody can, you know, find great clothes and have a good time. It's been a very, very fun place to work. It's uh, full of interesting people that love what they do, and we cater to a very interesting group of people that shop in that store. Everyone's got a story. Everyone's about something. It's just a lot of fun. I think the biggest asset at Wilkes Bashford is by far the sales associates. They've all been there you know, 15, 20 plus years. They're just as passionate and loyal as they come, and they are a colorful group. You walk in there and uh, you feel like you're at a show. Very entertaining. I've been at Wilkes about 30 years. I first started in the old store, the original store. I went through about four interviews and Wilkes hired me on the spot. And I had one of my biggest days ever, that very first day. And he realized that was a good move. We pride ourselves at Wilkes Bashford on our customer service. From the moment that they come in the store, through their shopping experience, to their alterations, to the delivery of their goods. Uh, we really do strive to exceed customers' expectations on every level. You know, whatever that personal touch may be, we want to do it all. We jump through all kinds of hoops to please our clients. People come back to our store just for that reason, for the superb service that they get. I feel like the, the women's world in Wilkes-Bashford here in Palo Alto is just ripe for expansion. We're just starting our new remodel and we're really excited that they're adding a great deal of shops. I think that most people would be quite surprised that 50% of our business comes from the women's department and that is our best kept secret. And I feel like with the remodel, we're opening up more lines of jewelry and they've added like four more that I know of this year that I'm very excited about for our store. I'm so happy to be part of the renovation because this is the new era of Wilkes Bashford. So what's gonna be great about it, we're gonna have so many more beautiful collections. The store is gonna be beautiful. What's great about being with the Mitchell family, I mean, they have a remedy that has worked. They've been in the business a long time, so it was actually Wilkes that said to me, if there's one person that I would love to have buy this store is the Mitchell family, because they know how to run a company. So they've been fantastic. It's, it's a family, and I've worked with the family with Wilkes. So it's like two families blended into one. 
So when I heard about the, the opportunity to merge with Wilkes Bashford, I was all over it to move to California. Um, I had seen our company merge with Richards of Greenwich and Marshes in Long Island, and I thought, how cool of an opportunity um, to take on a store on the West Coast. Uh, the kid to my left, um, I've known for quite a while, worked with at Brioni a number of years ago, and actually at that time never realized that he would play such an important role in my life. It's a kind of a great generational thing that uh, after 40 some years at Wilkes Bashford, that um, we have a younger a younger element coming in. Once I got used to the fact that he wore his jacket so short and, uh, and could totally respect uh, his take on style and fashion. And I think we do come from it from different angles, but end up at the same place in a very productive manner. I think the most significant change that our customers have witnessed or have seen once they walk through the doors is the hospitality that we have, the, the camaraderie we have with each other. It's more like they come, they sit down, they relax. We all help each other, we're like a big family. I have to say that since they've joined us, the reach out has been incredible. They have a genuineness to really and feel passionate about wanting to reach out to the community and I think that is shown with some of the events we've had in the store and the responses we've had from our customers. I think, I think we bring a lot of joy to people, whether it's dressing them for, for business to make them feel confident, whether it's dressing someone socially to make them feel uh, more attractive. I, I think beautiful clothes are, are one of the rewards of working hard and uh, being successful, just as fine wine would be, or staying in great hotels, or great restaurants. I think it's all part and parcel. You know, well, I'm just very thankful today because after about 45 years, this is the first time that Willie has not told the story about when we, when we shorten his sleeves instead of lengthening them. So I'm assuming that it's been put to rest. For those of you who want to know about the story, buy my book. My vision for the future with the new family is, I think we have an incredible opportunity to grow. I think it's gonna be just something totally unique and exciting, especially in San Francisco, because Wilkes is an icon in this business, and I think we're progressing to the next level. It's exciting to be there during this time. I think we have nothing but growth in the future. This is gonna be our flagship store. I see no reason why the store couldn't last a hundred years. There's, there's no reason for it, not, for it not to. San Francisco, without Wilkes Bashford, would not be San Francisco. We would all be shopping in New York, or in Connecticut, or in Beverly Hills. It's really the only store we can shop in that meets the level and the standards that we crave and desire uh, for wearing apparel. He's, he's amazing, he's an icon. He and his store are icons in San Francisco. I can't imagine it even being here without him. Uh, but just being with Wilkes as a person, uh, those memories are made every day. Mm -hmm.